Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a quick rundown of free Blender assets and resources that you probably missed. And this week we do have a good number of tools, some geometry nodes set up, and of course, a couple of assets that you might definitely want to take a look at. And with that said, let's get right into it. Adidin has created a geometry node setup for hair. If you've always wanted to make hair using the geometry node and you're probably thinking about where to get started, especially if you don't want to set up the nodes yourself, then you might want to consider checking out this hair generator made available by Adidin. So there is actually a couple of guides on how you can work with this and this tool comes with a couple of parameters that will make your hair setup super easy. From thickness, clumpness, radius, roughness, all the way to randomizing the length of the new hair, you can now take full control of creating wonderful and nice looking hair with the new hair system using geometry nodes directly in Blender. Artichoke has just released a new IV add-on. This IV add-on allows you to apply IV on any model surface. So how this one works is a little bit interesting as you have to download this and then you install it as a plugin, select the object and apply the IV to it. And because this is an IV pen, you can proceed to just simply swipe around the model and create IVs on the fly. So contrary to just playing with IVs and not knowing how these parameters will be placed, this also comes with a good number of parameters that can help you apply IVs however you choose. From branches to size of the leaves all the way to density of the leaves, you have all of the parameters alongside with the flexibility of using the pen to add direct these IVs to your heart content. And if you're looking for a procedural detorated brick, then you might want to take a look at Kobe Ray. Kobe Ray has created a couple of procedural materials and the detorated bricks is one of them. So if you're looking for something that is exactly like this and you would like to have full control by having access to the geometry nodes, then this might be worth it. It's also worth mentioning that if you go over to his page, you would notice that he has created even way more stuff. So we talked about the fact that he created the nebula generator some time ago, the sedimentary rock, the lynch rock, and also the snow cliff rock. So if you're looking for materials like this, that gives you access to all all of the texture maps that you need which you can control procedurally then Cobrate has something for you someone else who also has a huge pack of procedural stuff now we're talking about procedural things is santos so we've talked about santos before and just to mention santos has actually updated the library of free stuff to 31 materials with eight shader tools so if you're looking for even more procedural materials then you might want to consider checking out santos and taking a look at some of the beautiful things that he has so as he mentioned with the first release of the santos tool he has proceeded to be updating this every single week. So if you'd like to get these free ones, which you can use and play with before you switch to the decision of purchasing it, then you might want to also check out Santos and take advantage of the 31 materials with 8 shader tools to get started with it. Randy Hooker has released a brand new add-on called Tang Blender Add-on. This add-on connects you directly to Tang through Blender, where you can download a ton of 3D printable models. Now the models that you'll be getting here are models that you can retopo and animate and it's quite lovely to see that there is now an add-on that links you directly to this page. This is currently supported for Blender 2.93 all the way to 3.3. This add-on is totally free and you do not require a login to actually access these models. It is also worth knowing that the license that you'll be getting here is under the MIT license so just in case you want to read up on that, links to this page is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. And this week we have some art station picks. 3 d 2 has created a free massive decal pack for Blender, Unreal Engine and also Substance users. This is totally free and with this you'll be able to get access to 11 graffiti, 9 grudges, 3 blood decals and 2 rust. You can choose to download this directly from the Dropbox or you can grab them right here on ArtStation. It is worth knowing that all of these that you'll be getting here are reportedly 4K and for those who like to get this then you might want to consider checking it out. And while we talk about things that you can get on ArtStation, there is also the Medieval Voxel asset from Felix. Felix has put these ones together for anyone who is thinking about setting up a voxel city or maybe you're trying to kit bash a couple of voxel assets together. These ones are also available for you to come through and grab and the files that you'll be getting are GLTF and OBJ. They are quite beautiful stuff that you can work with and the number of meshes you'll be getting with this is 52. And one of the top picks that we have for this week is from Mohamed Musavi. So we've talked about Mohamed a couple of times in the past. And recently, he just announced the free bundle that contains the damage, leak, crack and imperfection. So these are a set of different bundles that he has created over time. And for anyone who would like to get all of this, you can actually come through and grab these ones for yourself. And if you want to see even more stuff, you can go over to his page where you can find a ton of things that he has created previously. So if you like to get a sample of some of these beautiful things that he has created over time, or maybe you would like to get this entire bundle, then links to this is also going to be in the description. 
And finally for this week we have the blender hub. The blender hub made available by Chipsnet is something that you definitely need if you do have a few number of blender installed on your machine. Now we've talked about a different kind of blender tool that allows you to update blender on the fly, download a new version or check out some of the new releases and this one just simply helps you manage the versions of Blender. So if you either need that tool or you need this one, which we're going to put links in the description, then of course you can come through and grab them. So this is more like it. For those who would like to take a look at any of these tools that we've talked about and a few more that we're also going to put in the description, links to that is going to be down there. So go through and check them out for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, Peace.